Hey guys, my name is Dice Rowland. Today we're going to be taking a look at some facts you didn't know about one of the films that spearheaded the body horror subgenre. Shivers was written and directed by David Cronenberg and shows what happens when a parasite is unleashed in an apartment building causing residents to become sex obsessed. So without further ado, these are some things you didn't know about Shivers. A combination of aphrodisiac and venereal disease that will hopefully turn the world into one beautiful mindless orgy. The location of the Starliner building was Nunn's Island in Montreal. The cast and crew also lived in the complex during filming, and it was shot on a 15-day schedule. Here's a fun little bit. During the scene in which the police are talking with St. Luke about the bodies, he discovered Merrick answers the phone saying 1511. The timestamp at that moment is actually 15 minutes and 11 seconds. Actor Wally Martin had previously played Mr. Cloudhopper in the Mr. Rogers TV series. Apparently, David Cronenberg has stated, I had no idea that I sullied Mr. Rogers. If you'll notice, throughout the film, there's always something of a yellow or gold color in scene. Some of the music we hear in Shivers was Neil Drop music, acquired by Ivan Reitman, due to being unable to afford a full score. The special effects were done by Joe Blasco, because there was no special effects company in Canada at the time. According to Blasco, there had not been a serious horror film made in Canada. Those are not Barbara Steele's legs during the bathtub scene. There was a leg double performing those shots. During the scene where Nurse Forsyth stabs Cressimer, the person playing him is actually David Cronenberg himself. He wore a pad underneath his shirt to protect him. However, Lynn Lowry missed that pad and legitimately stabbed the director. He still has a scar on his left bicep from the incident. David Cronenberg makes a cameo as an infected resident during the claustrophobic hallway scene with St. Luke and Forsyth. He also lent his voice earlier in the film. During the climax of the movie where the residents are jumping into the pool, you're actually seeing a lot of the crew who just decided to strip and dip. One regret of Cronenberg's regarding the film is the lack of CG to improve the look of the parasite and to erase wires. But he has come to terms with it saying, unlike George Lucas, I had no desire to go back and correct it with modern technology. Let it live in the time that it existed with all the flaws. That's where it belongs. This is yet another instance where Percy Rodriguez lent his voice for the trailer of the film. Joe Silver went on to voice the pivotal creep in Creepshow 2. Once again, another surprise to Cronenberg. Some of the original titles for the film were Invasion of the Blood Parasites, Orgy of the Blood Parasites, The Parasite Murders, and They Came From Within. It was eventually given the title Shivers, which David Cronenberg was never fond of. Shivers almost became an American movie. David Cronenberg had tried to get companies in Canada to not only help produce his film, but allow him to direct it. Cinepix was one such company, but they were apparently unsure about letting him direct. Cronenberg ended up traveling to Los Angeles and was ready to move to the States, but he finally got the financing in Canada that he had been looking for. According to Cronenberg, the main reason why he cast Lynn Lowry is because of her strange presence on screen and her haunting eyes. When asked about the scientific and biological aspects of the parasite, Cronenberg has said, If there are inconsistencies, it's either intended or it's my fault. It's my disease to play with. Shivers was David Cronenberg's very first feature film. It was also the most profitable and controversial Canadian movie. It caused a lot of trouble in the Canadian Parliament. In order to help Susan Petrie cry on screen, David Cronenberg used onions, but due to the camera not being in focus, the scene had to be shot again. The problem was, there were no more onions left to be used, so Petrie allowed the director to slap her. They did neglect to let Barbara Steele know about this, which caused her to believe that Cronenberg had beaten her fellow actress. Steele confronted Cronenberg after the scene and ended up lifting him off the ground by his collar, while yelling threats of physical harm at him. Obviously rather frightened by this, Cronenberg explained what had happened, and with the confirmation from Petri, they all had a good laugh about it. David Cronenberg has said that he believes Dan O'Bannon got a good bit of inspiration for Alien from Shivers. Shivers got Cronenberg kicked out of his apartment, or, more accurately, an article in the Saturday Night Magazine written by Robert Fulford. In it, Fulford states, 
If we need to make movies like this to have a Canadian film industry, then we shouldn't have a Canadian film industry. Along with having to leave his Toronto apartment, this article made it difficult for Cronenberg to get funding for his future films, including Rabid. Ironically, while recording audio commentary for Shivers years later, Cronenberg was sick with a cold. So those were some facts about Shivers you may not have known. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like to let me know. And don't forget to leave a comment down below telling me what other horror movies you'd like to see me dig up some facts about. Also, don't forget to share this video to help the channel grow and subscribe for more videos like this. See you later.